is Susan Davis. I work for Edinburgh University. Um, I suppose I'm um, quite unusual in this network in that I spent 12 years in consultancy and banking. I did seven years in risk management um, in finance before moving into doing a master's in environmental change and management. And then I've moved more into the forestry sector, but really looking at risk and focusing on the kind of information that other organisations such as insurance companies and banks and forest carbon standards need on risk. Um, so for me, um, the European the, the risk facility would be fantastic if it could provide better data. Um, a lot of the organisations I work with really struggle to find standard data across Europe on things like losses from wind, um, losses from pests and diseases, fire, but in a way that they can actually look at probability. So the important thing is, is to understand what is the sort of annual probability of these kind of risks, what are the impacts, um, and that data often it's very isolated events, you know, one-off storms, one-off data. But to get long-term trends, harmonise standard data across Europe on those sorts of risks would be really useful for the audience that I work with. So you have um, investors who invest in forests, so they need to understand, you know, the risks. Insurers who insure forests, and at the moment we have insurance in many countries for wind and fire but not for pests and diseases, or drought, for example. Um, and increasingly, the insurers are seeing a lot of clients who are saying we would like to offer insurance for pests and diseases, and we'd like to, so we'd like to buy insurance for pests and diseases and drought, uh, but insurers don't typically offer it because they don't have the information they need um, to develop the prices. So outside of the research community, there are others that are interested in this, and I think also, if you want to raise awareness of this, this, this science at the sort of European level, to have that, you know, generic information that says how important these risks are and how much forest you're losing each year, that would be really useful to the audience I work with. So for me, that's a lot where the risk facility can help. Um, and I hope that it includes other stakeholders. So, you know, I've heard a lot of the, the, the um, workshops been excellent so far and, and people have sort of really stressed the need to ask stakeholders what they want. So... Uh, sort of um, not just this is the research we do who else can use it but actually talk to the other people who might be interested so not just the forest managers but as I say insurers investors and the carbon standards this is a new area in Europe forest carbon is is, is one of the fastest growing voluntary is the fastest growing voluntary carbon sector in Europe and most forest carbon standards ask that when you plant trees you put a certain amount of the carbon aside against future loss and the big question is, how much do we put aside? And a lot of the forest carbon standards say, well, we can't get very good data or information. So if we're planting trees for 100 years, we need to know how many trees are we get, could we lose to all of these disturbances. And it's very difficult to get that information now, let alone for the next 100 years, um, especially with climate change. So I think there's a lot of information needed, but just don't forget the other stakeholders. I think um, I, I was pleased that other stakeholders were mentioned, so um, I was pleased when I first heard about it, I was concerned that it would just be researchers exchanging information. A lot of the discussion we've had is about raising awareness um, outside of the sector and raising awareness about risk, and I think that's key um, for the area that I work in, so I was pleased to hear that. There seems to be quite a wide agenda at the moment, um, and I think information will be key so I'm hoping that the focus short term will be on that but I think the workshop's been really interesting and it's shown the real diversity and all the different angles and the different requirements from this facility so I think it will be a challenge to, to do it but I think there's a real need for it. So.